What's up you guys, it's Antonio here. Today's video we're going to be checking out the BTS Korean fans starting a translation project for the International Army. I had looked up what I Army was before this and it popped up with the Indian Army and I was like, BTS huh. is a global sensation. Fans around the world but want to know the international. of the seven musically talented artists' lyrics. Have you heard of Leader RM's Soul Town Road, a remix of Lil Nas X's Old Town Road? I got the homies in my I actually haven't seen this, so we should check this out after. Some international fans might think that RM is just referring to the English slang word homie that refers to one's buddy. But actually, RM used wordplay to refer to a traditional farming tool native to Korea, homie. To address the struggles homies. of international army, BTS's Korean fans decided to start a translation project for BTS-related content. On December 24th, a South Korean BTS fan community How do they know what he was referring started to? a BTS translation project. The main objective for this project was to quickly deliver BTS related news BTS to BTS is now on TikTok. Let me get my phone. BTQ is South Korea's biggest fan community for BTS. Its name is a combination of the band's name BTS and Tokku, which is a Korean word for maniac. Not only does this fan community provide news related to BTS, but also collects BTS memes, music records, and regular updates. BTS, cool. Okay. Boom. Found their TikTok. Follow. Man, they're following zero people. Hey, BTS, follow me, okay? 14 million, 22 million. Dang. They only got like nine videos up. All right, let's just check this one out. Wait, let me see if it's got copyright music. Nope. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 62,000 comments. Woo! Let's check out this BTS coup. Oh, BT coup. I was like, I was like, where is it? BTS website. Uh, I think this is it. Ah, there we go. They put it under official BTS.com. So it's like, okay, this is, yeah, this looks exactly like it looks like in the video. It's pretty recent. Uh, BTS pop-up shop is coming to seal. Hmm. K-pop fans, Brave Seals, Christmas Chill to buy BTS merch. Man, this has got a lot of good stuff. We might like, we might go over some of the stuff if they got, let's see, are these articles? Okay, actually I think I've ended up on this website before when I was like researching them a little bit. Okay, let's keep going. Thanks on each member. For BTQ, a representative Korean fan community of BTS to start the translation project is symbolic of the growing international impact of BTS and K-pop. Everybody knows Many them. academics have been hosting seminars on the global influence of BTS and have come down Many to the academics. conclusion that imagine being were easily <laughs> broken down by Imagine fans. becoming a teacher and like your only subject is you're like, okay, let's talk about the impact of uh, uh, BTS and that's it like <laughs> you go to school for two years just to learn everything about them and talk about it this is in reference to the voluntary translators nothing wrong with that but social media who invest a lot of time and linguistic talent translating k-pop related contents into diverse languages however it's no picnic to be translating videos of one's favorite k-pop artists into a different language especially Not if you get only it wrong does the translator need to know the korean language but also develop the understanding of cultural contexts in k-pop artists conversations Regardless, thousands of BTS videos have been translated into English, Spanish, Chinese, and more, and later shared by international fans. Yet, it is still very difficult for international armies to fully understand the Korean lyrics of BTS, as oftentimes the songs include cultural references. For instance, in BTS is My City, J-Hope sings about his hometown in Gwangju, South Jeolla Province. The lyrics are... <laughs> Here, Kia can be in reference to the car, as Pangju is known for its Kia factories, mm. or to the Kia Tigers, a baseball team for Pangju that is also known to be J Hope's favorite team. It's also I don't know why they would say, like, Korean sounds so like, 
what they said is right, but I don't know why they would say it's because of that. Like, oh, you can never understand them fully because they're talking about a Kia car and a Kia factory. It's like, mm, no, I think I'm pretty fully capable of uh, being like cognizant of that. But that being said, there are, if you're like an American that was born, you know, in over here and only knows English and then you picked up Korean because you, you know, maybe went over there or you started taking classes here and you tried to translate, then I could see how it would be a little bit, uh, you know, confusing because you're not going to be able to fully understand what it's like to live somewhere, especially if you haven't lived there a long time or you haven't lived there or been there at all. Similar to the gear stick of the car. In addition, the 062518 part is in regards to 062 being Pongja's area code. And 518 is allegedly a reference sense. to the I think I could understand that. democracy <laughs> uprising in Gwangju that ended up in a massacre of the city. Oh, that Jesus. is why BTQ, mostly constituted of Korean armies, has decided to start a translation service. As of now, BTQ provides BTS-related content in English. By 2020, they're hoping to provide translations in Chinese, Japanese, Arabic, Spanish, and Hindi. What about Not only will Sicilian? articles related to BTS be translated, but also memes and content that accurately depict Korea's cultural nuance in respective cultural terms. It'd be cool if there was like a... Like if memes, you could just click them and then like slide to change the language or something like that, or click like to select what language you want it to be in. That'd be tight. But um, before I forget, all right, this next one, I'm going to check out the, uh, the, the Old Town Road remix. So let's do that. If you guys want me to check out more stuff, um, I had live streamed once before. If you guys want me to do that, let me know down below some ideas for, you know, what you think I could live stream. Uh, I think I just watched a few videos last time or one really long video. It was like a 30 minute one, but we could do freaking... I don't know, there's a million things we could be looking at that website, the BTSKU, just be sitting there freaking talking if people are down to, you know, comment a lot and actually kind of have like a conversation. But yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time.